Okay, so one of the things that I've been experimenting with lately is a new method for layering the facial sprites and for drawing. Uh, so what I'm doing here now is kind of quickly demonstrating how this is uh, happening. And uh, in this version, basically, I am using uh, a separate mouth sprite that covers up most of the mouth in a sort of a within a circular shape um, and the actual interior of the mouth I'm actually drawing it as part of the facial sprite itself uh, one of the things in traditional animation that you got to keep in mind and in general human anatomy is that the upper teeth are always locked into the skull so if you look at uh, feature films uh, created by Disney and uh, DreamWorks and such uh, you'll always notice that they follow this particular anatomical feature where the upper teeth always stay in the same position so I'm kind of trying to experiment with this now and as you can see now rather than drawing the mouth I'm creating sort of a hole and um, this hole uh, basically allows us to see through the my mouth sprite and the layer underneath uh, maintains that upper uh, part of the uh, teeth uh, in the same place of course the bottom teeth are drawn on the mouth sprite itself with, which is kind of uh, logical that the teeth would stay with the bottom jaw now I still haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna make the bottom jaw move uh, uh, like independently um, I, I don't think it's gonna be that hard though now that I've, uh, I've kind of messed around with this so right now I can notice the sides of it they're not very well defined but that's fine this is kind of a placeholder right now um, so now I'm playing around with the uh, adding you know another uh, facial hair to the to the mouth uh, sprite itself and it does move with it and I'm not sure if uh, traditionally this is how I've been doing it but I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the right approach I'm thinking that I can probably add this to the front hair sprite instead and keep that on a completely separate layer away from the jaw itself we'll see how that works out um, <clears throat> so just kind of playing around here with like uh, increasing the uh, the area of the bottom uh, of the interior of the mouth and uh, I can see here that when I move it around I uh, I can I can see it pop out and I'm, I really want to try to avoid that so I'm probably gonna go back and kind of tweak that but overall I think it's coming out great it's allowing me to put like those uh, shadow areas like around the eyes and uh, the nose itself has a little bit of depth uh, as well as far as sh shading is concerned um, the ears I've noticed that the ears uh, are going to have to be put at a little bit more of a uh, perspective in order to play out uh, I can no longer keep doing it because there's this bug in crazy talk animator 3 that uh, the ear layering just doesn't work right uh, so what I'm testing now is uh, maybe keeping the ears at the bottommost layer behind the head of course this, uh, this makes the head sprite cover up a great portion of the ear so I have to kind of play around with how I portray that maybe um, put the ears at a sort of a, a, a different angle and uh, and sort of kind of like mask out the front part of it to, to kind of create a blend so uh, here I am just kind of tweaking out um, the uh, the front hair, but instead of putting it at, at its, as its own front hair sprite, which is what is typically recommended, I'm just kind of adding that as part of the facial sprite itself. So that way, it's kind of locked in, and we'll see how that looks. It doesn't look that bad. So here's what I'm talking about now with the uh, blending in of the face with the ears seems to work a little bit better um, it allows me to make use of the outlines too as you can see I can uh, increase the the width and the, uh, the how thin the, uh, the outlines are so that's kind of good so let's uh, play around with the front hair itself I'm just gonna create like a small patch here and just kind of see how it works maybe move that chin hair into the front hair layer 
Okay, so uh, <clears throat> now that that is done, I am going to test it out and see how it goes. And yes, it kind of seems like it's going to work out fine this way. So experiments are going to continue. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell uh, icon so you can get notified whenever I put further experiments and keep track of my progress.